Hello and welcome to the launch stream for Monks and Mystics, which hopefully should be launching in about an hour or so. Yes, roughly an hour, uh, give and take a few minutes. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think the idea is for us to like showcase some of the stuff we haven't shown yet. That's right. So you've been seeing some uh, some parts of the Satanists. I'm sure there are a lot of Easter eggs and cool things in there as well. Uh, I know Chris has been fiddling around with the Holy Orders, uh, or sorry, the Monastic Orders, during our... Uh, Normans in the Sun adventures, uh, but I think Emil wants to show you his favorite society. Yes, uh, well. uh, I think my personal favorite so far are the the Hermetics. So I thought that we could perhaps join them and actually start showcasing some of them. Cool, because uh, I think they are one of the more flavorful uh, societies that we've added, uh, and I really like like the overall theme. Uh, yeah, they're like they are the mystics, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, uh, in yeah. the in the monks and mystics. Exactly, kind of. Uh, I mean, th they are all about like trying to learn uh, uh, more about the universe and whatnot, and perform strange uh, rituals. They are the disciples of Hermes Trismegistus, of course. Hermes the thrice ah, blessed. Exactly. Uh, so they have a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, yeah. So as you know, the Satanists do contain some supernatural elements, mm -hmm. uh, but the Hermetics do not. Yeah, The way they are written uh, makes them look more like a sort of proto-scientist. Exactly. Uh, Alchemists and so on. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a bunch of interesting about like make horoscope. Uh, we have perform scrying is actually rather interesting uh, mm -hmm. because the, in that one, we, maybe we can even showcase it. And the, the point of it is that you like do a scrying, and you can either like per, like anticipate a good omen or a bad omen. Yep. Uh, and then we have tied that into different events for the, the the game. So say you have sunset invasion activated, for example, and then we have like oh I, I like something bad is gonna happen, and the Aztecs invade. They're like oh I foresee that this would have happened. Yeah. And then you get different. Uh, bonuses or so it's uh, it's captain hindsight <laughs> yeah, yeah more, more or less so i mean i i think we tied it to a bunch of different stuff so it's uh, really interesting uh so yeah i mean i i guess we can uh, try to do some of the we have a write a thorn paper maybe we can begin that with that one let's see do we need anything special so no? who are we playing here we are we are duke Uto of mycen uh, right. yeah we started with him because he usually have a bunch of learning. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a requirement of 10 learning before you can actually join the Hermetics. So, yeah. they, so they won't allow any scrub. That's a bit of a bugger. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to join yesterday in the stream. <laughs> oh, I see, yeah. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, I mean... Then you get various options. And of course, we have to do the extraordinary effort. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, we, we can't do like a... You can probably cheat some money if needed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, we, we do have... Now we lost some piety, but uh, that should be fine. So in some ways, this, um, this society is a bit similar to the uh, scholarship focus. Yeah. From way of life. I yeah, exactly. Uh, they they have a bunch of similarities. Uh, I think we even made some uh, compatibility with it, so they're not that disconnected from one another. Yeah, uh, that was the idea, anyway. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's probably not as like connected as they could have been, but I think that we managed to do some stuff for it. Uh, like if you are if you perform a stargazing and if, and if you have an observatory built mm. from the scholarship focus It will give you some bonus and you can e more easily impress the one you invite for example, right? Uh, so we have a bunch of bonuses. Yeah, the trouble when we do stif stuff like this is uh, uh, It's hard to build on previous expansions. <laughs> yeah uh, Because it presupposes you've bought th those two All right, you it's finished. Yes, it is finished we have produced a truly revolutionary paper on the stars. Yeah, I think the, that you will randomly like pick a, you a subject, uh, uh, and then you'll have to send it out to various other uh, hermetic members. And depending on their relation to you, they will either accept or like reject your uh, suggested writing. Yeah, 
academics. It's a, it's a tricky bunch. Yeah, it's, they're exactly. hard to impress. Yes, they usually are. They're a lot so, like reviewers. Yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll send this out and see how what they think of it. <clears throat> Not good enough. Hmm. Oh, damn critics. Yeah. What is it like an Ir Irish impaler? Of course, he's not gonna <laughs> like the stars. No, it should oh. have been a treatise on cannibalism or something instead. Yeah, probably. Used papers. Oh, we got one approval. Okay, let's hope for more. Ah, second approval. Yeah, cause I think that you, you requested of five people, and if you get a majority, you're, it will be approved. Yeah. So we need one more. Ah, we did get it. That was close. Well done. Two versus three. Exactly. Hope we get the vessel. Now that's the new generalized counselor job. Yeah. Non localized, I should say. <clears throat> the new default counselor job. Exactly. All right. Excess. Uh. Your paper has been endorsed. Accepted into the library. It possess a great mind. And then you get some prestige. Uh, you got a temporary boost to learning. And also some esoteric knowledge, which is which is the currency the Hermetics uses. The name for the, the power. Yes. It sounds really fancy somehow. <laughs> esoteric knowledge. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. It, it's nice. Could yeah. have been occult knowledge as well. Yeah, that could also have worked. Um, and yeah, and when you're, everything is more or less about learning, uh, many of these will, uh, you have varying degrees of success in most of the powers if you have a higher learning or not. Uh, and when we, you are... Of course. Yeah, uh, I think we have also a more grand event. Uh, it's not listed in the tooltip though, uh, but we have something called the grand debate. Uh, and if you are participate in the grand debate and have a higher learning, you have a higher chance of winning the grand debate as like the grand debater. And then you get a bunch of different perks and prestige and stuff. Uh, so so gain, doing a lot of these before like someone actually uh, starts the grand debate, uh, which is only allowed for the makers to do. Uh, is Yeah, just trying to get those learning bonuses is uh, really nice. Yeah, so most but societies maybe. actually have a leader. Um, yes. Called a Grandmaster or something like that. It's a little bit different for the Hermetics. Uh, uh, yes, most of them have only a single one of the rank four, uh, where the where the rank four is the actual leader. Yeah. Uh, for the Hermetics, I think we allow if, it, if it's up to like ten people or something that can hold the rank four, but only one of them will be assigned as the leader of the society. Let's see. A laboratory. Hmm. This is a good one. In neat. Infiltrate the laboratory of a depth light gram. <laughs> I mean, that's a good mission. Yeah, that, that's a really good mission. Let's uh, see if we can't do it. Infiltrate the laboratory. I think we have to. Can I invite them to do some stargazing? Yes, yeah, so that's also one of the uh, hermetic interactions. That you can invite one another to stargazing. And there are like various results of possibly becoming friends or doing some astonishing progress. Not being abducted by aliens though, unfortunately. No, no, no aliens are involved. Uh, but yeah. So that's usually how you advance through the ranks uh, with these societies. Um, you do missions for them. Yes. Gain power or that esoteric knowledge in this case. Yeah. And then you can rank up. Exactly. There we go. We have the mission before us. Talent for keeping secrets. He uh, does know how to hire proper guards. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Yeah. Good thing you had a potion of dreamless sleep. Yes. For this very eventuality. Yeah. It sounds um, dubious to me. It's like it's the milk of poppies. <laughs> yeah, yeah ki kind of. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have varying degrees of success depending on a bunch of factors, I think. But no. Well, I hope uh, you don't change your mind now. No, 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 we're not changing our mind. Well, just uh, weighing, really, weighing yeah. the options carefully. Exactly. 
to empty that little vial of potion in a jug before it is brought to the guards. Snoring softly. Well. So, what should we do? Focus on destruction? Should we ruin it, everything for him? I don't know. Um, that's more of a Satanist approach, I feel. Probably, but yeah. Or keep uh, looking for the valuable stuff. I think that's funny with the content designers in, in this expansion. Even uh, even Max. the monastic orders have some pretty dark choices. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they do. Sometimes. Yes. Uh, I mean... Let's see if we can find the valuables, I guess. It's safer, but not as effective. All right, yeah, you split up to cover more ground. Effective, but riskier. <laughs> cover more ground, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, stay together and stay on the safe side. Some uh, middle option. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like... Uh court physician better has to know what he's doing. Yeah. If I'm anything, a great value. Oh well. At least we got some knowledge of it out of it. It was a nice try. Yeah, it was. There we go. And I think that concludes the mission pretty well. Uh, yeah, successfully. Did you burn it down as well? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe. Yeah, that's not one of the yeah. new event pictures. <clears throat> no, this is one of the older ones. Uh, kind of like the, all the new ones. I, I think we have like 20 in total. Yeah, uh, I love the new event pictures. And they, they're, 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 they're overall really good. Most of them are fantastic. Yeah, I agree. There we go. We succeeded with the mission. Let's see if we can't... Uh, Pregnant wife as well. Let's do a scrying. And we're just gonna cheat our way up. Rank up. Cheating to Thank rank you. up. Thank you. Yes. God. We're gonna cheat a bit. Uh, let's see. I think it's a normal decision. Or no, it's a. There we go. Perform scrying. Mystical art of divination in an attempt to foretell the future. You you lose out of some knowledge, but uh, it might might very well be worth it. Uh, Unpause might be a good idea. There's a question: Do universities have any impact or benefit for the society? Uh, not as far as I know. No, I don't think. I think we considered that at one point, but we didn't have like any good ideas of how to do it like in a good way. I think. Uh, yeah. So it, it, it ended up not being done, unfortunately. <laughs> it would have been nice to tie it into some somehow. Yep. Yeah, this is one of those expansions we had to cut a lot of stuff out of. Yeah. Actually. It was so easy to come up with cool things. Um, yeah, exactly. In general. Yeah. But then, <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, know, time and uh, like uh, how Scoping. much, or, yeah, like scope and stuff. So. It's not about battles to come. Hmm, we have some interesting options. What will happen to me as a duke? Yeah. Relationship. Well, I mean, we, we have a wife. Should we ask ab about relationships? Yeah, you know, um, domestic life keeps you yeah. happy. So yeah, you could ask for that. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it and see what we'll find out. If you ask for battles to come, I think you get a bonus in a in a battle. Right? Yeah, yeah, something like or that. Or you do. might get a bonus. Yeah, exactly. Or you might interpret it as, as a <laughs> bonus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it all depends on, the, like, in the eye of the beholder. Yep. Close my eyes. When I open my eyes, I see it clearly. A bed of flowers and an urn. Damnation. This is clearly a bad omen. Oh, no. Oof. Something bad will happen. This reminds me of stabbing the pig in Europa Universalis, Rome. <laughs> all right, yes. That's <laughs> the stab, the good old stab the pig. Yep. Divination. Yes, where you get like random stuff. Oh, uh, another question about what was cut. <clears throat> well, yeah. one one thing that we wanted to do more with was an integration with the actual military holy orders. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, we had to deprioritize that. It would have been cool though. Might see something later on in an expansion. It's always 
it's always going to be pretty easy now to add more societies. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, w w we did the, like the decision of like having the base system for societies be a free feature, so we can just keep adding new stuff for it in, uh, in future yep. uh, content. So you'll actually get this new society screen regardless of whether you buy the expansion or not. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> oh, and here are the new randomized ch child name buttons. Uh, I think we had on, on the stream a few times, but overall, they are. I, I, re I really like these. Yeah, we um, added a lot of little stuff like this that you get used to very quickly. Oh yes, I mean, um, when, when I, yeah, when we implemented this the first time, and I was like, why haven't we done this before? Yeah, no, I mean, they are really convenient. Now I want more of these, like uh, yeah. th themed names and so on, like Zoroastrian yeah. demons and gods and. All kinds of things. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, you can either like randomize the name completely, na name it after the parent or the grandparent, uh, and then we have an option for just picking a random ancestor. So, and <laughs> anyone in your dynasty is like uh, fair game. I think we got a comment here on this guy or, or this kid. <laughs> Looks like Tom and Lannister. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I sort of agree. In, I'm not in, sure. In he's a way, I suppose. I'm not sure he's blonde enough, but. Nah, probably not. But uh, close enough. We'll name him Popo for good measure. Uh, yeah. Should we try to highlight something else, perhaps? Well, uh, yeah, we've we've shown you a bit of the Hermetics. Yeah. Uh, what else could we pick? Maybe the uh, assassins yes i mean the assassins are rather interesting as well uh let's see if we can find a there we go let's pick a shiite there we go the assassins and a quick note the hermetic society i think they are open to all like the all christians muslims Wait, well, well, let's check. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, yeah. Muslims, uh, Israelite, Mastan, and Sunnist. That's right. So, yeah. unfortunately, the Indians uh, cannot join no. them. And the pagans. Exactly. Most of the pagans. Yeah. But let's join the assassins. In, in order to join the assassins, you have to be Shia, uh, either like openly or if you have the trait secretly Shiite as well. Because that's also something we've added with the, the expansion, that you can secretly become like all other religions. Uh, so you have you have one like the, the visible faith, uh, which is also the one that grants you all the normal gameplay mechanics. Yeah, but in your heart you can be a follower of something else. Yes, exactly. And then you'll get an appropriate trait where it says that you're secretly Christian or ca Catholic or something like that. But let's join the assassin and look at the event chain. So what we did here with the old uh, assassin holy order is that we renamed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In order to have, like avoid confusion uh, with the, the society and the holy order, we kind of separated them yeah. by renaming the old one. There we go. Let's see. I believe they're the Fedayeen. Yes, I think that was the name we got. Or religion. There's another one of these new event pictures that I really love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like really flavorful. I really enjoy them. I think the guy looks a little bit like an elf, though. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, but yes, we should be more like them. That is not an impossible wish. Are you ready to kill? And if he wills it, get killed to defend the word of his prophet and the rightful heir. And I mean, of, of course, co of course, of course. I mean, why wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's That's not even worth asking. Yeah, me, an assassin. Perhaps this is my destiny. So yes. My eyes opening, seeing only darkness. Before the first thoughts get through of the haze of my sleep. Why did I wake up? A deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful Imam Ali. Glory and, to Ali. Yeah, I mean, there's only one obvious choice here, really. Of course. Right. 
And then we sign the Pledge of Allegiance. The Grandmaster will be pleased. Well, that would be the old man of the mountain. Exactly. And now all we do is wait. Until we get the final rite of passage. So the assassins and the various forms of devil worshippers uh, are all secret societies. And yeah. regarded as criminal. Um, so we have to watch out. <laughs> yes, there we go. We finally got an invite. We're gonna travel to... Uh, Um Al Nasan. Yes, we shall be there. We shall. Strong was a torment thread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as it should, it should not it be should easy be, no. to uh, like climb up to this stronghold. No, it should lie in the middle of the desert somewhere. Yeah, and I am ready to serve. It leads me through another door, down a spiraling stone staircase. We descend in silence. And then someone, who, who is that? Away with you. Is your test? I did think um, the rank name of propagandist was a bit odd, but it yeah. seems that they actually used that name. Yeah, I, I think uh. it like, <laughs> that was like an actual name, even if like at a glance seems very odd. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is the test uh, for us if we want to like show our devoutness is that we have to kill uh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. great. So, will you do it? Yes, this woman is an enemy of our faith. End her. And he offers me a dagger. This is a biblical test. I mean, <laughs> if it is the Grand Master's <laughs> wish. If it is the Grand Master's wish. Yes. Of course. Of course, I mean, that this. Yeah, no, there's really not an option here. Died under suspicious circumstances. Oh. Kneel in front. Don't you get that warm feeling in your heart <laughs> now? <laughs> Always. What I, did it, you do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Blood across my cheeks. Yeah. My I, life for Allah. Praise be the assassins. Well, I mean, I always look at it. Like, I, I did it for a good cause. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Emil. Or, I mean, you know, sign of like <laughs> collateral damage, maybe? I think your lust for power <laughs> uh, is blinding well, you. As we usually say on the Monday stream, that you have to spend money to gain money. And in this case, you have to like spend someone's life to gain power. No yeah. Nothing ever comes free. I guess she was a nobody anyway. She was yeah, no I mean, She was Sunni as well. Yeah, so. yeah, heretic. Yeah. And there we go. We became a member of the Assassins. Which also have some fancy cloaks and stuff. Let's see if we can showcase some of them. Uh... Yeah, the societies get uh, unique clothes. Um, yeah, but some of them you only see if you are also a member. Of yeah, the same exactly. The, the secret societies have a bunch of clothing uh, associated with them, but they're only visible if you're actually a member yourself. Yep. So you can't like, oh, wait, he's wearing a like a uh, satanist cloak. We, kn <laughs> we know he's worshiping the devil. Mm. By the greatness, oh. greatest. Some Sunni beliefs, no. Oh, what let's, is this? Let's, let's inform the Caliph. We can't allow this, can no. we? No. There are infidels. Yes. In the realm. Yeah. Uh, so the power here is called divine? Uh, yes, divine power. <coughs> uh, and yeah, the cur all societies have a currency. Uh, they are usually gained by doing quests and the request from the Grand Master or the leader of the society. Uh, that's the main way, but you'll also gain some passively like every month depending on your stats or specific traits and as well as on your rank current rank uh, So you also have like you always gain something even if you don't get new missions all the time uh, But yeah overall the assassins are much about uh, Intrigue so you I as think, they should be As, yeah, as they should be. And so murder. Yeah, so you'll gain a boost in like the base stats intrigue. Uh, you gain some 
like you can see here, murder plot power. Uh, I think there's even like some defensive plot power uh, as you rank up as well. Should we uh, increase in rank and see Do what it. we get? There we go. Intrigue. Plot discovery chance even. That's a very nice bonus. Uh, plot defense power, murder plot power, and some personal combat skill. And now you're a propagandist. Yes. We increase in rank fast. I think this is one of the societies with the most useful abilities. Um, yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, we do have, the, if you like an additional source of cash, that you can borrow money from the order if should you really have the need for it. Yeah, the brothers uh, are there for you. Yeah. You have the ability to intimidate rulers for to gain favors, uh, which is like tied into the usual conclave mechanics where you can get used to spend the favors on various actions. Uh, we have... I don't remember now, did we turn that off if you don't have Conclave? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I uh, think we do, but I'm not entirely sure, actually. But yeah, you can ha hire some additional ships, uh, and as the Grandmaster, I think you have the more interesting choices. Where you can raise an additional army of assassins. I think you get a special regiment consisting of like 5,000 troops or so. Uh, and yeah. you, don't, you don't pay anything. I think you pay divine power for it, so you don't have to spend any cash or anything. Yeah, that's a very useful ability right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, 5,000 assassin fanatics. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then we have the mark for death, which is really interesting. Because you as the Grandmaster can decide to like, oh, I want this guy to die. So even if you don't, don't have that much plot power yourself, you can target him. And this will make like all the AI characters in the society to focus on that character to, to try to plot him first and foremost. It's a beautiful thing. Yes. Uh, so eventually he, he will die because no one can withstand the, the Grandmaster's wish. Uh, but yeah, they Not if they want to live at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ex exactly. Uh, What's that question? Yeah, what is it like? Retinue boats. Boats. Yeah. I don't think we have, it's something we considered. Uh, no, because naval transport is usually pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. I would say, but yeah, because I mean, once you have like a bunch of coastal counties, you usually have more than enough ships to to actually transport your army. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not a bad idea. We, no? we should be easy enough to add it. Yeah. So, maybe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, ships are mostly just useful. Uh, oh, we have no valid grandmothers to name her after. Well, I guess it could be useful if you start in Iceland in 769. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. fair <laughs> enough. That would be a good point. So if you start on like the smaller islands uh, in the early bookmarks, uh, where we don't have quite a lot of ships yet, but otherwise, ships are mostly used if you want to cross the Mediterranean quickly. Like for a crusade or something. There we go, our first mission. It wants us mm -hmm. to convert a province. To the proper faith. Yes. Convert Hijaz. I suppose we okay. can do that. It's fine. Yeah, that's going to take some work though. Yeah, I mean, uh, converting provinces is not really that straightforward though. So we'll we just have to wait. How good is your court mullah there? Thirteen learning. Yeah, thirteen. Uh, it's decent. Not something very spectacular, I suppose. What's your moral authority? Uh, let's see. We can take a look at that. Moral authority is sixty-nine percent. It's not great. No. Uh, that is also one of the nifty little things we've added, uh, because you usually you used to be only be able to see your own moral authority uh, from this menu here, but we also added it to the religion tooltip overall, so we c you can just highlight any religion and then see the moral authority directly from there. I think it's visible in the ledger as well, uh, but who uses the ledger? Yeah, l let's let's not talk about the ledger. <laughs> But yeah. Oh, if the holy hand grenade <laughs> is not a relic in the court of Antioch, I want yeah. my money back. Well, I, I think we'll have to disappoint you, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, 
I can't believe we forgot about the holy hunger. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I think I got the question uh, during the yesterday streams as well, and it was like, right? Why, why didn't we actually consider that? Yeah, I, I don't know, honestly. That's I, uh, that, that missed opportunity. Yeah, I'll beat myself up over that. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, does, no one says we can't add it later. Exactly. So wait for the patch. Yeah. And remember, three is the number to which you shall count. Exactly. Um, but yeah, a short glimpse of the assassins. Do we have anything else you think would be worth highlighting? Oh, there's quite a lot of stuff. Someone asks for the cold ones. The cold ones, yes. Um, let's see if I remember which religion they belong to. Yeah, I they're think the it's Slavic uh, guys, I think. Yeah, do we have any Slavics left in this bookmark? Uh, n not many. I think they've all converted by... Yeah. Let's uh, let's just make it easy for us. We'll do it like this. Well, if there's Romova, I think they have it too. They, have, they, they might, or if they have... Oh yeah, they have the cold ones. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in, in pure gameplay, I think all of the like the Devil Worshipper societies are very similar. They have, uh, they the, have the same, like, the, the same powers, powers um, with some small variations, I think. Yeah, there, there's a lot of text variation. Yeah, I think there are a few sort of event hmm. variations as well, but it's they're, they're going to be very similar. Yeah, overall very similar. I think uh, if it's the, the the plague bringers, they have they are more proficient in the what is it the tainted touch where you can like make people sick they are better at that than the rest of but, course uh, but otherwise i think they are they are very similar in, in, they in how they play they serve the grandfather yeah exactly <laughs> well we can only put so many monty python references in there folks yeah uh, but you know it's i agree it's fun yes uh, it is fun he shows poorly. Uh, so yeah, the cold ones. We could show you, but yeah, a bit. But yeah, I think you've seen the. the same yeah, things. yeah. I think uh, we've highlighted <clears throat> most of it during the Monday streams uh, with the, the, the Lucifer's own, uh, which is very similar in, in gameplay. Uh, so I think we'll skip these ones. Uh, let's see. I mean, uh, I think we've shown it before as well, but we do have the new fancy prisoner management tool. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a treasury as well. Yes, we, have, we do have the treasury. Um, uh, do, let's see if this we is can. early in the game, we're only four years in, so yeah. people haven't really... Yeah, we do, we do have some... Uh, like, the artifact system is also uh, a patch feature. Yep. Uh, so we can continue adding upon the system without you requiring you to have uh, monks and mystics as well. I, I foresee uh, great <laughs> applicability in in various mods. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well I think uh, mods are gonna be able to go crazy with the new uh, inventory and just adding all bunch of cool stuff to it. Yep, because in general our artifacts are pretty balanced. Um, yeah. They are. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to overdo anything because we have to consider the usual gameplay. Yeah, again, uh, you know, you know, sunset invasion and all that, but we, we yeah. do try <laughs> to keep it fairly real. Yeah. So you don't get overpowered bonuses for holding most of these things. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, I think. Uh, Take a look at the bonus for the Iron Crown, though, because this is exactly. one of the most iconic, actual. Uh, real artifacts yes uh gives you some monthly prestige and piety uh, bonus to vassal opinion is very nice that's a very nice bonus uh, right also there. very powerful oh and short reign years is five years shorter mm. which is uh, not bad at all no uh, so this is one of the the best artifacts yeah uh, um, overall i think that no one i think we randomize some artifacts at the start of the game so, so some characters will uh, uh, like We'll actually some. start with a few. Yeah, exactly. So, so we actually have some uh, like scattered across the world, so it's not void of any artifacts at all. Uh, but we do have some special ones, like uh, Iron Crown of Lombardy, that's always placed at the owner of the HRE, for example. Uh, just yeah. to make it like kind of iconic. Yes. And I think the Byzantines also have some starting perks. Yes, they get the Crown of Thorns and the Nail of the True Cross. Allegedly, the real things. 
Yes. I mean, we don't know. But uh, so suppose all this. We don't really take a stance on this issue. Um, no, no, ex <laughs> exactly. I mean, but, but there could be quite a few nails of the true cross. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, all things considered, it's like the character. Oh, I found the actual uh, crown of thorns or whatever. So it's like in the character's mindset that the, this yeah. are is the real deal. The actual holy hand grenade from, <laughs> from history. Yes, of course. Uh, but yeah, and then you can see like when the item was created, uh, when your current character obtained it, and who owned it from the start. Yeah, those uh, are neat little details. Yeah, um, I, I think they add a lot of flavor to it, so it's uh, kind of nice. Now, uh, artifacts can be looted sometimes. Yes. Uh, when, when a holding is besieged, uh, you can take prisoners sometimes, as you mm -hmm. know. And it's quite similar with the artifacts, you can actually gain them that way as well. Yeah. Yeah, either through normal sieges or whenever you're raiding and stuff like that. And then, then you can actually steal the owner's artifacts. Yep. Uh, which is kind of cool. So it would be annoying for the poor emperor to lose <laughs> the <laughs> yes. Iron Crown of Lombardy. Y yeah, really good example. Raiding Norsemen. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Now, uh, on release of Monks and Mystics, you will not be able to give artifacts to other characters. No. I've just implemented that feature. Uh, personally, so that's going to yeah. be in uh, hopefully the p a patch <laughs> or uh, if yeah, not, yeah. Uh, then and a later patch. Yeah, so so. at least in some upcoming patches. Yeah. But yeah, I think that was like, oh, we have these cool artifacts, but I, I like cr <laughs> crafted this cool weapon, and I like, I, I, wa I want it. to give it yeah. to like my loyal vassal. Exactly. So it was kind of a feature. I felt like oh, we we really should do this, uh, but we didn't have time for the actual release. Uh, but yeah, overall there's a bunch of cool stuff. You can gain uh, various events where you are like meet a weaponsmith or a goldsmith where you can crown, craft crown jewels or, or weapons of your choice. Of varying quality, of e course. Exactly, depending on what you should, should choose to spend on it. Uh, and then we have the, like, the more rare artifacts where you can like uh, obtain rumors of like a lost artifact long ago and then send away your counselors to oh, yeah. try to search for them can be quite costly searches yes. sometimes yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, if you're unlucky, they really need to, like, you need, need to invest a lot of resources into gaining the artifacts. But uh, overall, I think they, some of them are really powerful. Yeah. So if you do acquire them, they will give you a hefty bonus. Uh, I believe there are, you know, quite a few culturally significant ones as well. Yeah, I mean, we have a huge bunch of tied to <coughs> various cultures and religions. Uh, with different themes to them. Uh, I think you as like a Norse pagan, you can find the Mjolnir, for example. Yes, uh, Mjolnir. Yeah, yeah, uh, like like so. the actual <laughs> Thor's hammer, uh, or at least you believe it to be. Uh, but yeah, so, some of the more very rare artifacts are really powerful bonuses. Uh, yes. Do we have anything else? Yes, we do have the new council jobs. Yeah, they're um, um, very neat. It's, it's a yeah. default job for the councillors that you don't have to put them in a province anymore in order for them to actually perform some task. They will always be active across the yeah. entire realm or all of the valid provinces at least uh, doing their thing. <coughs> yeah. So if you saw earlier in the stream, the spy master is just scheming but that can still lead to being able to blackmail or intimidate exactly. uh, vassals, uh, for example. Yeah. Uh, I think in general we made a new job to be like a off-map default job, uh, with the exception for Spymaster, where we added the Sabotage province, which is a targeted on-map uh, job, but we made Scheme into the, the, the default job. So you will like fall back <coughs> to like discover plots and stuff like that. Yeah, they were a bit reworked. Yeah. Uh, also the uh, court chaplain, or diviner in this case. Yeah, uh, that's also a bit special because it's um, it's meant to unearth uh, heretics and uh, members of criminal societies <coughs> as well. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. A question: Are the default jobs active during plagues, etc.? Yes, <coughs> we. Uh, I we think we remade it yeah. just a short <coughs> while ago. Pretty, yeah, I I think it's in. 
the release version of Monks and Mystics. I hope it is. It might be. I'm not entirely uh, sure. I'm not entirely sure either. If it's not, uh, it's going to be in the next patch. Uh, it's, it's quite annoying to have to reassign your counselors all the time uh, during or after plagues. Yeah. Uh, so that was changed. They, they retain their job now, regardless of the job. Um, oh but, no, it's... you know, they don't do much uh, while they're there if they are in seclusion. Damn English layout. <laughs> you what are you trying me. to do? An, an underscore. There oh, we go. Okay. Straight paranoid. We want to shut the gates. There we go. Let's see. Uh... No, you can't get CBs if you steal someone's artifacts. Um, that's a good suggestion, yeah. though. I like that. Uh... And here's another CBs. Yeah, I think with, with something we talked about that you should be able to like try to war, like declare war to get it, but your items back. Yeah, but we didn't do it. It's actually very similar to the problem where you can't declare war to get your daughter back uh, yeah. if she's been taken as a concubine. Yeah. Uh, for example, or in general, just to release prisoners. Uh, would yeah. Also be yeah. Exactly. Fairly neat. Uh, then again, a war is a hard, a hard thing to fight over an artifact. Uh, so, it would have to be one of the major artifacts then, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Another question, will we get a new coat of arms pack in the future? Um, I don't think it's something we've planned. But, no, uh, I mean, they've not been super popular, I think. But no. Well, per personally, uh, I like them. I think they add a lot of flavor when you can see like a Dynasty's actual coat of arm. Uh, instead of like the more generic ones, because you, you see them so often that they kind of get boring after a while. No, absolutely. Um, I, I, I like them too. I don't like yeah. the House Salian one. <laughs> no, I, no, I mean, I, I think this one is like decent-ish, but... Uh, That's because we couldn't come up with anything approaching yeah. the real thing. So yeah. we just... I think this one is like a special uh, one as well. Same thing with that. Yeah, it's like... Uh, Stain shield means stone kettle. Yeah. So th that's where we came up with that coat of arms. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think the I think the the Capé one is also a special one. I yeah, <coughs> I yeah. mean all the major dynasties are covered now. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we covered most of the big dynasties, the important ones. Uh, but yes. Can we show the Kali cult? <laughs> oh, well, sure, we can. I mean, we can uh, uh, show them off. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go, Cult of Kali. But they are also a Devil Worshipper Society, They're so they, they also play very similar. They are a form the... of the Devil Worshippers. Yeah. With a bit more Kali Ma, of course. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> now exactly. Now I should point out that this is one aspect of Kali, not... <laughs> yeah, not, not all of the representation of Kali. Because uh, she's also a positive figure. Yes, indeed. Uh, but yeah. Any more interesting questions? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Kali Ma, Kali Yuga, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. I don't think we have do we have do we have any in the Anion's references? <sighs> I, I, I certainly hope that the content designers put some in there. But, yeah, I'm but, actually not sure if we do. I can't remember if I've seen it, but... Uh, uh, I, I, you know, yeah. you, you can't make a game without some uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, Indiana Jones references. Yeah, exactly. So what else do we have? Um, let's see, we've um, shown the... Yeah, I think we've shown... You've showed off the prisoner see. Yeah, we have highlighted that one. We can let's show the, the content pack real quick. Uh, well, the character finder has some new. Oh right, stuff yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> character finder. There we go. Uh, we have some new filters. Uh, you can filter on characters if they are within your Dipper range or not, uh, as well as if the character would accept a court invite or not, uh, which is really useful if you're trying to search for people with claims and press them or whatever. Uh, it and is. Yeah. Whatever. And oh, sorry. I think sorry. Uh, the best part I think is that you can actually save like a certain let's uh, just do a random my religion if you have a specific let's any 
Have, if you have a specific filter you use it very often uh, in between save games, you can actually save the filter and have four di different tabs. Yeah, you can see it's yeah. a programmer. Who yeah, did this. I, I was going to say that. It's a <laughs> typical programmer starting yeah. at zero. Yeah. But uh, oh well, uh, we'll save that one. And then you can just load it and you can see exactly what the, the, your filters are like. Uh, so if we like empty slot, we can just load that one and then we load the, the other preset we just made and you can keep your current filters. Yeah, pe people keep asking for pop culture references like yeah. Ash's boomstick, <laughs> uh, good, bad. I'm the one with the gun, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, you see what happens when we try to add stuff like this. You yeah. know, we, we get a lot of flack for doing sunset invasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean. It's very tempting to go overboard with supernatural stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I and, mean, you know, I'm fully to blame for most of that, yeah. um, <laughs> but it is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I, I try to like remind it. It's still a historical game. <laughs> try, try to keep it within recent limits. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what else? Questions. Um, Norse societies. Uh, yeah, yes, I think uh, they have. Let's. They have the fellowship uh, of hell. I think. Do we have any? How, what? Oh, what the Norse are happened? gone. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a, oh, oh. a Norse left. Right. Yes, they have the fellowship of hell, uh, which is also like the, the your usual devil worshiper society, with a lot of curses and mm -hmm. uh, galders and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, yes, and the same. I think someone asked about the nomads as well. They also have well, they if they're Tengri at least they. <laughs> yeah, uh, they I, I think that it will depend on their religions, uh, mostly. Yeah, it's not so the nomad if, uh, government no. form. Yeah, it's actually the religion. Exactly. So if you are Tengri, as in this case, you'll get the plague bringers, for example, uh, and I guess if we uh, that's. Uh, Religion. Oh, I can't even spell correctly. Religion. Catholic. There we go. And then you'll get the, the common Catholic ones. There's someone asking about the historical basis for lay membership in, in uh, monastic orders. <clears throat> You're quite right that it was quite rare. Um, yeah. But I found some cases. Um, I think there was a Scottish prince. Uh, there was uh, a son of the king of Hungary, I think. There, mm. there were a few um, royal uh, people um, who actually became lay members of various monastic orders. Yeah, it's more. It's going to be more common than historical uh, for gameplay reasons, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, we forgot. Uh, I think, do we have someone at war? Yes, we do. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if we can. The Aztecs did not get their own uh, society. Uh, <laughs> I felt uh, it's too rare to be playing the Aztecs, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> even if it, you could kind of go kind of crazy with them and do some more interesting stuff, uh, I don't think people play the Aztecs often enough for it to be like worth for us to spend the time on it. Indeed. The Aztecs do feature in one of the ah, new events. Yes, yeah, they, <laughs> uh, they do. It's going to be interesting to see who finds that first, people. But then you have to play with Sunset Invasion on. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, we have added some uh, just Easter egg of sorts. Uh, but yes. We also have the... <laughs> Is no, there didn't. a Cthulhu cult? <laughs> Cthulhu cult? Yeah, no. Did you just decline my... No, Sorry, there. folks. I think it's public domain, though. We probably could do something with, with Lovecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we could. Uh, it's not impossible. This is also one nifty little feature we have added. Oh, yeah, the Allied uh, Order stuff. Yes. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. In short, uh, I think we have four different orders. That is, so as long as you have an AI ally in your war, uh, you unlock these menus where we have allied order. You can either order them to siege a specific county, uh, for this example. So now he's, now he's going to siege Troyes, uh, or whatever it's pronounced. Uh, and you can also order him to attach to a specific army. 
so this list will always show like your allies, the current order, and what you can order them to do instead. Uh, and then we have, let's see, military view, allies, yes. Uh, so in short, you can tell, order them to siege a specific province, or you can order them to like generally siege provinces. So they will like find a suitable province and then start sieging it. Yeah. Uh, or you can order them to like just hunt the enemy armies. I do find these very useful. Yeah. And I, I use them quite a lot, especially to siege a specific province. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I, I think <coughs> my favorite one is the, the attached one. Okay. Uh, because that way I can just like split my army in the way I want it, and then I tell my allies to siege a different ar different yeah. stacks of mine. Uh, and then I can just use them either to like reinforce uh, each other to fight an enemy, or if like spread them out and siege provinces. Oh, it's quite useful. <coughs> yeah, so, so I think this one in particular is really nifty, because I think we've had like a history of the AI sometimes just running off and doing its own thing. Usually, I think yeah. it did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more often than not, uh, unfortunately. Uh, oh, the DLC is out. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, I think yeah, it's uh, three o'clock. Uh, that should mean that the DLC is available. Uh, so if it is indeed out, try to restart Steam if you can't get it yet. That usually works. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I rarely use Steam to play our own games because I usually <laughs> compile my own version. Yeah, <laughs> you, usually it's like, oh, I need to tweak this. Uh, yeah. Where you can just like work straight from the bat. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of little other convenient features we've added. Um, yeah, I think these are like all the main features we have. But uh, now you can, you can of course start up the game and see for yourself. Exactly. So, I mean, you, you don't have to watch us anymore. You can just like launch the game and uh, see it all in all its glory. And of course, uh, you know, remember to point out, uh, give us feedback, uh, point out your your uh, suggestions and so on. Yeah, yeah. I in, mean, uh, in the forum. Yeah, uh, we always listen, uh, even if we don't always answer every single post. Uh, we read most of it. Yep. Uh, and I mean, as usual, if you spot anything out of the ordinary, don't go to the bug forums and let us know. <laughs> yes. Now is the time for the the usual confetti party. All right. And most of the team is here. Yes. Yay. The team Yay. has arrived. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, are, are, guys. Yes. Are we ready to do this? <laughs> Shall we do it? Let's celebrate it. another yes. launch. Yes. <laughs> Great job, guys. Yes. Go out and play. Uh, oh, yes. So? Now remember to let Satan into your heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Or in my case, as I prefer the Hermetics, learn everything you can. You could go for science rather than you magic, can. sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know where, where my sympathies lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I know, I know. But yes. Have fun, uh, people. Yes, have yeah. fun. Uh, I think it's time for us to wrap up so we can prepare for the EU4 Dev Clash. Yeah, we also we... need to make sure that everything is running and working so that you guys can actually yes, play. Exactly. So uh, uh, we'll be working late, probably. Uh, yeah. And keeping an eye on the forums. Yes, as always. So have fun! <laughs> yes, have fun, everyone. <laughs>